Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little teddy bear. To make this teddy bear, you're going to need the items listed on the screen. Now, if you're after a written pattern, that can be found within the video as a caption or subtitles, or you can find a printout by following the link in the description box below. We're now going to start off by making a magic circle. To do this, you're going to grab hold of your yarn and wrap it around your two fingers, making an X at the base. Turn them over, and this is the side we're working with. We're going to put our crochet under the first loop and pull up a loop using the second bit of yarn, like so. Now we're going to pull this bit of yarn using our crochet. So pick this up from here, and we're going to move it through the loop on our crochet like this and that makes your magic circle now if you're not a great fan of magic circles we have an alternative which i will show you in a moment so from here to start round one you can work six single crochets within this circle so let's go ahead and do this so put your crochet back into the circle yarn over pull up a loop two loops on our crochet yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet. We are going to need six all together. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. And once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to close the gap between your stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. And when you do this, all your stitches are nice and close together. And from here, you're going to start working on top of the stitches around here. Okay, now if you are not great a fan of um, magic circles, I'm going to show you an alternative. We are going to undo this whole thing. We're going to start again. And this time I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. So use whatever method you like to create a slip knot. And once you have your slip knot, we're going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. Once you have your two chains, you're going to skip the first chain, which is next to your hook. And we are going to work our stitches in the second chain from your hook. So from here, you're going to go straight into that chain, stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and that's my first single crochet the effect is exactly the same and just use the method that you prefer here we go here's my second third fourth fifth and my sixth stitch now after once you've worked your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end again, same as before, and that should eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now as you can tell, it doesn't make any difference which method you use because the effect is exactly the same. Now from here we're going to work our round two. To begin round two, you're going to locate your first single crochet of your previous round, which is right around here. I'm going to slip my crochet inside it, just the top part, Yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. We're going to work two single crochets in the same stitch. So that's my one single crochet. I'm going back in that stitch and working my second one. Here we go. Once you work two single crochets in the same stitch, that completes that particular part. We're going to go into the next one and work two single crochets again. Each time when you're working two single crochets in one stitch, it's called an increase. So we are going to work an increase in each of these stitches. Here's my third one. Again, working two single crochets in that same stitch again. Fourth one. Fifth. And my final sixth one. Finish off by working two single crochets in this stitch as well. Now at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. We're now going to 
Start the next round by working a single crochet in the next stitch. As you may notice, we are working in a spiral. So we are not going to be closing any of these rounds. We're just going to continue each of these rounds one after the other. So that's my first single crochet off round three. From here, I'm going to work an increase in the next stitch, which means two single crochets in the same stitch, like this. Now from here, I'm going to start using the stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. So this one started at this first single crochet. Now I'm going to put this stitch marker in, which will allow me to just work on my stitches and not worry too much about the count. So from here, the repeat for this round is one single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet followed on with an increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And to do this, you're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch, followed by another single crochet in the next stitch after that. So now we have two single crochets in a row. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. The first stitch of this round. And we're going to follow these two single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets within the same stitch. And just like this, we're going to complete this whole round by working a single crochet, a single crochet, and an increase. So go ahead and finish this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And in this round, you're going to have three single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second, and third. Now we're going to follow those three single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Just like this, we're going to follow this repeat to finish this round. So three single crochets in a row followed on with an increase, three single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start our next round with a single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to follow this on with three more single crochets to make the total four. So we're going to have four single crochets in a row for this round. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to complete this round by working four single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, four single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. And we're going to follow that on with an increase. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And that will complete our round. And we're going to repeat this twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 42. You'll now notice that your work has started to curve and that is perfectly normal because we are planning to make a head with this one. So now we're going to start off the next round. So to do this, you're going to have six single crochets in a row and then we're going to follow that on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to complete this round. And then we're going to repeat it one more time to have two rounds of just single crochet. After two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 48. We're now going to start the next round 
by working seven single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So once we have our seven single crochets, we're going to work an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch like this. Once you have your seven single crochets and an increase, you're going to repeat this process all the way around to complete this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 54. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're now going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to complete this round. And then we're going to repeat the same process seven times to have seven rounds of just single crochet. Now, just one little tip. We are going to work a few stitches together. When you were working quite a few of these rounds um, of single crochets, sometimes it's very easy to lose count of how many rounds you have done. So what I suggest is that you work a few stitches. Let's pull this stitch out so I don't lose it. And I'm going to pull this thread that comes out from the center through around any of these stitches. So maybe from the same one where we have just finished. So I will actually do it one next to it. Here we go. So I'm going to pull this thread from the center through this stitch. So that shows that this was the first round of single crochets that I started with. Because once I'm finished with this, this stitch marker moves on to the next round. But I will still have this particular thread to count the rounds from here on as a reference. So go ahead and work your seven rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of seven rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 54. Now, as you can see, I kept moving my stitch marker each time. However, this little thread that we pulled out from this stitch allows us to count how many rounds we have done. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So we have finished seven rounds and now we are going to take a moment to insert the eyes into this head. To do this, you're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that you finished with is facing the back. So I'm going to place this down gently like this and I'm going to squish this head downwards so that the stitch I finished with is in the center like this. Now, once you have the center outlined, we are going to count the rounds down from the top and we're going to insert the eyes in between round 16 and 17. So let's go ahead and count. That's round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now this is my round sixteen, and we're going to insert the eyes in between round sixteen and seventeen. So just the space right here. So now I know where I'm inserting the eyes. I'm going to move my, leave my nail there and just make sure that the stitch is still in the middle where we finished. I'm going to grab hold of the eye we're using. I'm using one of these uh, teddy bear eyes. These are security eyes. Once you put them in, uh, they don't tend to come out. So they are perfect for toys. So this is the round they're going in. So from the center, I'm going to count five stitches over. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to insert this one in this particular stitch. So five stitches over. Let's put this in and grab hold of the other eye. And now, because we moved our hand from there, we are going to count 10 stitches in between the two eyes. So this eye is here. I'm going to count 10 stitches in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the tenth one, I'm going to insert this eye. There we go. Once we've inserted the eyes, we are going to puff up the head again and have a quick look if we are happy with the positioning of the eye. And that looks perfect to me. 
Now, once you've got this in place, you're going to turn it around. And once you're happy with the positioning, you're going to put the security backing on. Now, be aware, once this goes on, it doesn't tend to come off. So we have to be very sure that we are happy with the eyes position. Now, let's place the second one in here as well. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and start the next round. So to do this round, we are going to be working some decreases in. So let's take the stitch marker off and work a single crochet in our first stitch and place the stitch marker back in place. Here we go. After this, I'm going to work six more single crochets in a row to make the count to seven. So here we go, that's my one. And once you have your seven single crochets in a row, let's just count to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got my seven single crochets. I'm going to work a decrease. When we say decrease, we are simply working one single crochet, but between two stitches. So to do this, you're going to insert your crochet in the next stitch and pull up a loop. And we're going to do the same with the stitch after that. So insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop when you have three loops on your crochet we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go that reduces the number of stitches we have so from here you're going to work seven single crochets again here's one two three four six and seven now I'm going to show you the decrease one more time I'm going to insert your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop and do the same with the stitch after that insert your hook inside and pull up a loop three loops on your crochet we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go now, just like this, you're going to follow the same repeat all the way around. So seven single crochets followed on with a decrease, seven single crochets and a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. We're now going to work our next round. And in here, we're going to work six single crochets in a row. So here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And work five more single crochets second third fourth fifth and sixth let's double check we've got six single crochets in a row one two three four five six once you have your six single crochets you're going to work a decrease to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches one from the next one and one from the stitch after that once you have your three uh, three loops on your crochet you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops in one go like this and just like this go ahead and finish this round by working six single crochets followed by a decrease six single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches we're now going to start the next round and we're going to work five single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease five single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches we're now going to start the next round and we're going to work four single crochets in a row so here's my first let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and let's follow this one with three more here's my second third and fourth once you have your four single crochets in a row we're going to follow this on with a decrease to do this pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three 
Follow this on with four single crochets, a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And in this round, you're going to work three single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, three single crochets, decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now this is our last and final round and we're going to work two single crochets in a row. One, two, and we're going to follow this on with a decrease. Now pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. Just like this, go ahead and finish this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to work a slip stitch in our next stitch over. To do this, you're going to put your crochet inside the next stitch, pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop on your crochet, like so. We're going to chain one and we're going to now go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. We can pull this out of the stitch now and pull this stitch down to fasten this stitch off. Now that completes the head. We're now going to go ahead and fill this head up with some fiber film and that completes this. Now onto the body and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot. We're now going to chain two, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. To begin round one we're going to skip our first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from our hook. Pull up a loop, two loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through both of them. Here's my first single crochet. I'm going to work five more to make the total count to six. Here's my fifth and final number six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And now we're going to start round two. And to begin round two, we're going to work a single crochet in our first single crochet of our previous round. Let's follow this on with another single crochet in the same stitch. Now that is an increase. And just like this, we're going to work an increase in each and every single one of these stitches all the way around. Here's my second increase. Third. Fourth. Fifth, and my final increase of this round, right here, number six. And this should bring our stitch count to 12 now. We're going to start round three. And to do this, you're going to work a single crochet and we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Now from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. There we go. And from here, you're going to follow the same combination, which is one single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and in this round, you're going to work two single crochets in a row. Here's my first, here's my second and we're going to follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Now we're going to follow the same repeat which is two single crochets and increase two single crochets and increase all the way around to complete this round. Don't forget your stitch marker. Two, three, four, here we go. So go ahead and work your stitches and meet me back here. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with two more single crochets in a row. Here's my second and here's my third. Now the total count of stitches will be three single crochets in a row and we're going to follow this on with an increase. 
so two single crochets in the same stitch and just like this we're going to complete this whole round by working three single crochets in a row followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. we're now going to start the next round and we're going to begin by working a single crochet in our first stitch and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place now you're going to follow this one single crochet on with 29 more to make the total count to 30 single crochets to finish this round and then you're going to repeat it two more rounds to have three rounds of just single crochet so go ahead and work three rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 30 we're now going to start the next round by working four single crochets in a row Here's my second, third, and fourth. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow these four single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And just like this, repeat the same combination all the way around. Four single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, four single crochets and increase. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with 35 single crochets more to make the total to 36 to finish this round. Then we're going to repeat it twice more to have three rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, finish three rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to start the next round and in this round we are going to work some decreases. So we're going to start off by working four single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, third and fourth. We're going to follow this on with a decrease. So to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this three loops on our crochet we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go and just like this you're going to follow this repeat all the way around to complete this round so four single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease four single crochets and a decrease at the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place and you're now going to follow the single crochet on with 29 more single crochets to finish this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count is still 30. We're now going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, and third. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So you pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go so we're going to copy this pattern and repeat it all the way around to complete this round so three single crochets followed on with a decrease three single crochets a decrease at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. we're now going to work a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put a stitch marker back in place and we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and then we're going to repeat the same process three times to have three rounds of just single crochet at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count is still 24. we're now going to work our final round of decreases and in this round you're going to work two single crochets in a row here's my second and we're going to follow that on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on a crochet yarn over pull through all three and just like this follow this repeat to complete this round two single crochet followed on with a decrease two single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. we're now going to slip stitch in our next stitch over and we're going to chain one and now we can go ahead and slip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch 
and pull this stitch down to secure this thread in place. Now this completes the body of this pair. You can go ahead and fill this up with some fiber fill and then we can move on to the next step. We're now going to work on the arms and for this we are going to start off with a magic circle. Again, you can either work with a magic circle or chain two. So we're going to start off with a magic circle this time. So wrap the yarn around your two fingers, make an X at the base, turn them over. This is the side you're working with. Put your crochet under the first, pull up a loop using the second bit of yarn from here. Now from here, we're going to pick this bit of yarn with our hook like this and make it go through the loop on your crochet. And that makes your magic circle. To start round one, we are going to work six single crochets inside the magic circle. So slip your crochet inside, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your crochet. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work six all together. Here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to close the gap between your stitches. And there we go. Now, this brings your stitches nice and close together. You're going to now start round two. And in this round, you're going to work an increase in every single one of these stitches. So slip your crochet in the top part of your first single crochet from your previous round. And pull up a loop. Again, two loops on a crochet, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet, going back into that same stitch and let's go ahead and work another single crochet. That's two. Three. Four. As we have six stitches from our previous round, we should have 12 stitches by the end of this round. That's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and here's my last stitch, eleven and twelve. Now that brings me to the end of this round. We can always pull on this end if there is a gap appearing again. There we go, and that brings all the stitches close together again. Now we're going to start the next round and in this round you're going to work a single crochet followed on with an increase. Now from this round onwards I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my round. So here's my first single crochet of this round and I'm going to put a stitch marker. Now let's go ahead and follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Just like this, go ahead and repeat the same process. So single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in your first stitch. And let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And now I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to complete one round. And we're going to repeat that three times to get three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. There we go. And we're now going to work three more single crochets in a row. So here's my second, third and fourth to make the total count to four. Now once you have your four single crochets, there's one, two, three, four. I'm going to work a decrease in the next stitch. To do this, you're going to slip your crochet in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that. And pull up a loop three loops on your crochet we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of them in one go just like this we are going to repeat the same combination four single crochets followed on with a decrease four single crochets and a decrease at the end of this round i have a total of 15 stitches 
We're now going to work the next round by working three single crochets in a row. So here's my first, second, and third single crochet. And we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. So pull up a loop from both of those two stitches, three loops on our crochet, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Now that works our decrease. So just like this, you're going to finish this round by working three single crochets, another decrease, and then three single crochets, another decrease. At the end of this round, our stitch count should be 12. Now before we go ahead and work any more stitches, we're going to take a moment and fill this uh, arm up with some fibre fill. So let's go ahead and grab some fibre fill and we're going to fill it up in this little space. And once we have done that, we're going to start the next round. Now to do this, you're going to work a single crochet in your next stitch. And we're going to put our stitch marker back in place. Like this. And now you're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to finish this round. And then you're going to repeat this round 12 times to have 12 rounds of just single crochet. Once you finish working your 12 rounds of single crochet, we're going to work our final row of single crochets across the top and we're going to seal this up. So to do this, you're going to make sure the stitch that you finished with is on one side. We're going to chain one and now get this fiber fill out of the way and squeeze the top of the leg shut. Now we're going to put our crochet from the front of the next stitch and allow it to go through the stitches at the back as well. So we're going to pull it apart. You can see it's gone through the front and the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my crochet, yarn over and pull through both of these in one go. Let's do this together again. So the next stitch, slip your crochet in there and guide it to come out from the back as well, like this. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both in one go. And just like this, we're going to work single crochets across all the way to the end. Here's my fifth one. And final number six. There we go. And once you work your six single crochets across the top, we're going to chain one. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull this out of this stitch. And I'm going to pull this stitch down. To secure this in place now there we have it there's one arm follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these going to start working on the legs and for this we are going to start off by working a slip knot this is an alternative to a magic circle but if you prefer working with magic circle by all means do now from here we are going to chain two there's one and two once you have your two chains, you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So slip your crochet in, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your crochet, yarn over, pull through two. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work five more to make the total six. And here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches like so. Now we're going to start the next round by working an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So let's go ahead and slip our crochet in the top part of our first single crochet of our previous round. Pull up a loop and work my first single crochet and in the same stitch, we're going to go back again and work our second single crochet. That's my increase. Just like this, let's go ahead and work an increase in all the stitches.
and here's my last one an increase in the last stitch here which makes my total stitch count to 12. Now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each round. So we're going to begin by working a single crochet and I'm going to go ahead and use a stitch marker to identify the start of this round. And there we go. So follow this single crochet on with an increase. So I'm going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. And just like this, we're going to complete this round by working one single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. So here's my first and here's my second. Once you have your two single crochets in a row, we're going to follow that on with an increase. And just like this, repeat this combination, two single crochets and an increase, two single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, your total stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round by working 11 single crochets in a row. So here's my first. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. That's five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. We're going to follow this on with an increase, which means two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this combination one more time to complete this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 26. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat it three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 26. We're now going to start the next round with 11 single crochets in a row. Here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back on. And now we're going to work 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's the tenth one. So that makes the total count to 11. Once you have your 11 single crochets in a row, we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this. You'll have three loops on your crochet. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three of these in one go. And just like this, we're going to complete this round by working the same combination one more time. So 11 single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, your total stitch count should be 24. Now in this particular round, we are going to work some decreases. So let's go ahead, start with a first single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this on with one more single crochet to make the total count to two. So once you have your two single crochets in a row, we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. To do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and from the stitch after that. Three loops on your crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go. 
And just like this, we are going to complete this round by following this repeat. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, two single crochets, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Let's go ahead and start the next round. And for this, you're going to have four single crochets in a row. One, two, three, and here's my fourth one. Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on our crochet, yarn over and pull through all three. And let's go ahead and finish this round off by working four single crochets, a decrease, four single crochets and another decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 15 stitches. We're now going to work three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, and follow this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your crochet, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And just like this, go ahead and finish this round as well with three single crochets, a decrease, three single crochets and another decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now, as you can see, the gap between the stitches is quite small. So please make sure as you're working the stitches, you keep filling this leg up with some fiber fill. Now let's start the next round and in this we're going to start off by working a single crochet in our first stitch. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker back in place and from here I'm going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. You should have a total of 12 stitches in one round and we're going to repeat it eight times to have eight rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. Once you finish your eight rounds of single crochet, we are going to work our final row of single crochets across the top to seal this up. So to do this, you're going to make sure the stitch that you're finished with is on one side. You're going to chain one and now get this fiber fill out of the way and squeeze the top of the leg shut. Now we're going to put our crochet from the front of the next stitch and allow it to go through the stitches at the back as well. So when I pull it apart, you can see it's gone through the front and the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my crochet, yarn over and pull through both of these in one go. Let's do this together again. So the next stitch, slip your crochet in there and guide it to come out from the back as well, like this. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both in one go. And just like this, we're going to work single crochets across all the way to the end. Here's my fifth one. And final number six. There we go. And once you work your six single crochets across the top, we're going to chain one. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull this out of this stitch. And I'm going to pull this stitch down to secure this in place. Now there we have it, there's one leg. Follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these. Now onto the muzzle and for this grab hold of your white yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your crochet in there and tighten the loop around your crochet. Now from here we are going to chain two. There's one and two. Once you have your two chains, you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So slip your crochet in, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your crochet, yarn over, pull through two. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work five more to make the total six. And here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches like so. Now we're going to start the next round by working and increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So let's go ahead and slip our crochet in the top part of our first single crochet of our previous round. Pull up a loop and work my first single crochet and in the same stitch, we're going to go back again and work our second single crochet. That's my increase. Just like this, let's go ahead and work an increase in all the stitches.
and here's my last one an increase in the last stitch here which makes my total stitch count to 12. Now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each round. So we're going to begin by working a single crochet and I'm going to go ahead and use a stitch marker to identify the start of this round. And there we go. So follow this single crochet on with an increase. So I'm going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. And just like this, we're going to complete this round by working one single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. So here's my first and here's my second. Once you have your two single crochets in a row, we're going to follow that on with an increase. And just like this, repeat this combination, two single crochets and an increase, two single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to do this four times to have four rounds of just single crochet. At the end of four rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to work a slip stitch in our next stitch over like this. Go ahead and chain one. And we're now going to snip this yarn off and pull it out of this stitch. Pull this stitch down to secure it in place. Now that completes the muzzle of this bear and we are going to stuff this up with some fiber fill and attach it to the head later on. Now onto the ears for this bear. Let's grab hold of our white yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Chain two. Now we're going to start round one by skipping our first chain and working six single crochets in the second chain from our hook. That's one, two, three, four, five, and here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. We're now going to start round two and to do this you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet of round two. Let's slip our crochet back into that same stitch and work another single crochet. So that's an increase right there. We're going to work six increases in a row. Here's my second increase. Third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and here's my final increase of this round, number six. Now, after once you worked your six increases, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to start the next round by working one single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. From here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my round. So here we go. And from here to complete this round, I'm going to follow this combination. One single crochet and increase, one single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And you'll find that you'll have a total of 18 single crochets. We're then going to repeat the same process three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count is still 18. 
We're now going to work our final round and in this round you're going to work some decreases. So we're going to start off with a single crochet. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're now going to follow the single crochet on with a decrease. To do this you're going to slip your crochet in the first stitch, pull up a loop, same with the next stitch, pull up a loop. Three loops on your crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Now just like this we're going to complete this round with this combination. A single crochet followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your crochet, yarn over and pull through all three. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round our stitch count should be 12. We're now going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch like this, chain one and we can now go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail so we can stitch this onto the head later. And there we go. If you give this a little squeeze you will see that this ear curves perfectly and there we go. Just like this you're going to create one more of these. Now onto the assembly and we're going to start off with the face and we're going to stitch the muzzle and the ears on. So to position this muzzle you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with on the muzzle is pointing downwards and you're going to position it directly like this in the center of these two eyes. Like this, there we go. And once we've done this go ahead and thread your darning needle with this bit of thread that's coming out of the muzzle and you can use um, sewing pins to hold that in place, so pin it in place, but I prefer to just put my thumb there and then just work my way around. So whatever feels comfortable for you. So from here, you're going to catch one stitch with your needle, just like this, and we are going to make the initial connection between the muzzle and the head. So we're going to go through the same stitch one more time on the neck, or the face rather and the muzzle so once you've gone through it twice even if you let go of the nose or the muzzle it's not going to um, move or um, fall off basically so we can just simply position it in the right place and we can carry on stitching it so from here we are going to move across the stitches and work one stitch at a time so we've got one stitch on the face and we're now going to go across and catch one stitch on the muzzle and each time pull the thread nice and tight so the connection between the two things is nice and firm. And once through the face and then one stitch through the muzzle as well. And just like this, each time once you've gone through the two stitches, pull the thread over and out of the way and carry on working all the way around. And when you reach this, I'll meet you back here. I've now made my way all the way around and we are back where we started. I've got a couple more stitches, so we're going to work those together. So go through the stitches on the face and one stitch on the muzzle. And let's do the last stitch here. And here we go. Now once you made your way all the way back, we are going to create a loop by making our needle go through just one stitch like this and pulling the thread through this will create a loop like this and you're going to put your needle through this loop and pull this down this will create a knot in place which is going to secure this thread perfectly in there and it's not going to get undone we're going to insert this needle back into that same stitch and guide it to go through some fiber fill and make it come out from the other side of the head it can come out anyway it doesn't matter and there we go. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and snip this yarn off. Now the muzzle is attached and we are now going to embroider the nose and the eyebrows. We're going to start off by outlining exactly where we're going to position the eyebrows and the nose for this little bear. So I'm going to be using this sewing pins to identify because this allows us to insert the needles or the pins like this and we can take them out and reposition them as we want to. So here we go, I've positioned this here and I'm going to put that in this side. Let's see, 
So once you've done that, you're just going to look at it and see if this is exactly where you want the nose to be positioned. And for me, I think this looks perfect. So I have one, two, three, four, five stitches in between those two pins. And that's where we are going to position this nose. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the eyebrows as well. So for the eyebrows of this bear, I am going to position the pins quite far away from the eye actually. This is where I would like the eyebrow to be. So you simply position it wherever you want it. And once you've done one side, you're going to copy the other side and try to match it exactly the same. So I've got one, two, three, four, round four. Over here as well, one, two, three, four. There's my round four and I've gone in from round four and we are coming out from here and let's see so i have one two three rounds in between one two three four so we need to adjust that let's take it out a little bit there we go so we've got one two three rounds in between now so once you're happy with the positioning you're going to use the darning needle to trace these out i'm not happy with this one because this one has one two three rounds and this one has still got four rounds so let me adjust that one more time and that looks better there we go so as you can see when you are trying to make these two symmetrical we are going to make sure that the rounds in between the head of this pin and the eye are the right amount same amount so one two three in between these and then you're going to check how wide you want the eyebrow to be so i've got one two three in between here one two three there as well that means they are both symmetrical so from here once you are happy with the positioning of your pins you're going to take your black thread and you're going to insert this through the neck opening and we're going to guide it to come out from this head of this pin so we're going to make it come out from the head of this pin so there we go so once we have guided it to come out from there we can remove this pin now and we're going to pull this thread in there we go and from here we are going to now guide this needle to go from this space so in the same stitch where the other pin is inserted so once you have that in place you can remove this pin as well i'm going to hold this sideways and then embroider the nose so we are going to now guide this pin to come out from that same very same stitch where we started this embroidery of this nose so we're going to insert it from this side make it come out from that side and we're going to do this a few times so each time when you do this you simply pull these threads down and we're going to make sure that they are sitting side by side because as you can see at the moment they are crisscrossing so we are going to pull them and adjust them until they are sitting side by side there we go and once you've done that you're simply repeating the same process so each time go insert it from the same stitch allow it to come out from the other st stitch as well so once you've done this pull it down and make them sit side by side and not overlap and we're going to repeat this process a few times so let's go ahead and do that keep inserting it from the same stitch make it come out from the other side and each time making sure that they don't overlap and they sit side by side There we go. And I think we can do it one more time to achieve the right size for this nose. And if you would like a bigger one, you can certainly keep going and uh, keep repeating the process until you have the right size of nose that you desire for your bear. There we go. And And once you are satisfied with the size of this nose, 
we're going to insert this needle back into that same stitch on this side and this time I'm going to insert it all the way through the fibre fill and guide it to come out from this stitch where we've inserted this head of the pin. So let's slowly, you might have to do a few trial and, uh, trials, but once it comes out from there you're going to simply pull this in and make it come out. But when you're doing this, be aware that you're going to have to adjust these two threads as well. So I'm going to pull them slightly until they are sitting in the right position where I want them to be. And there we go, that's perfect nose. And now we can work on the eyebrows. Okay, so once you have the, uh, the black threads coming out from the uh, marking where we've got the pin inserted, we're going to guide this needle to go at the bottom or the base of this pin, so where it's coming out from. So this time I'm going to insert this needle in that stitch where the pin is coming out from and allow it to go through some fiber fill and guide it to come out from the other side where the other pin is coming out from and there we go and make sure that you your threads are not pulling There we go. And we're going to do this part as well. So from here, you're going to insert this thread into where the head of this pin is, like this. And this time, guide the thread to come out through the neck one more time. And there we go. Now, we can remove the pins and we can adjust the thread to make the eyebrows. Here we are. And there we go, the eyebrows are done and we are now going to secure this thread in here. So I'm going to make the needle go through some fiber fill and just create a knot in place by making the needle go through this loop that's been created by the thread and pulling it down. That creates a knot in place and I can repeat the process if I like to make the connection a lot more secure. And I'm going to snip this yarn off and just leave it in the center of this space here so nothing gets pulled. And there we go. Give the head and the nose a little squeeze so it just retains its shape and gains its shape back again if anything was pulling anywhere. Now onto the ear and let's go ahead and thread our darning needle with this bit of yarn that's coming out of our ear. And first thing we're going to do is that make sure that the stitch that we're finished with is on one side and we're going to give the center of this ear a little squeeze so it gets its curved shape like this. So we are now going to position this around round five and we're going to do that in the center. So this is our center and we're going to stitch these two ears in the center part of this head. So there's my round one, round two, round three, round four, and round five is what I want. So just after round four, we're going to stitch this ear on. So let's hold this in place, so just double check, one, two, three, four, and the corner of this ear is going to be touching round five. Once you position this, lay it flat on the head, making sure that it's in line and in the center of the head. And we're going to now secure one side of the ear by inserting this needle around round five and making it come out from this side and go through the ear as well, just like this. And go through the same stitch one more time to make the connection nice and strong. And there we go. We're going to hold it sideways, give the head a little squeeze to make this quite narrow at the top so the positioning of the ear would be perfect. So hold it down sideways and we are now going to catch one stitch on the head and then we're going to catch the stitches on the ear as well. Now as you can see if I pull this apart you will see that I've made my needle go through the front and the back of the ear in one go. So we are going to catch the back and the front of these stitches all in one swift movement and pull it each time 
and let's move on to the next stitch go around the next stitch and make the needle go through the front and back of this ear like this And once you've made your way all the way across, apart from the last stitch, you're going to give this thread a nice pull because this will allow the head to stand up in the right position. And while it's sticking up, we're going to stitch the side. So to do the side of this ear, we're going to hold it down and stitch this around the next round. And we're going to go through that same stitch a couple of times. The reason why we make it stand first is because otherwise the ear might be um, laying flat against the head the whole time and it might not secure that in place right. So this is why we should always pick it up, make it stand up and we're going to go through the same stitch a few times. There we go. And once you're happy with this, you're going to stick this needle back into the bottom of that ear or the same stitch there and make it come out from the back like this. And we're now going to secure this thread by creating a knot. To do this, you're going to make the needle go around one stitch. Create a loop with the thread. And there we go. I'm going to insert this needle into this thread or the loop that we created and pull it gently until the loop is made into a knot. So pull it down, that will secure this in place and we're going to insert this back into that same stitch, guide it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the head and pull this out. And we can now go ahead and snip this yarn off. And we can give this head a little squeeze and this will retain its shape again. And now you can follow the same method and stitch the other ear on as well. Before we stitch the head and the body together, let's go ahead and stitch the arms and legs onto this body. Now, to start off, you're going to make sure that this body is a lot more flatter than it would usually be because this will help us with the positioning of the arms and legs. Now, once you've done this, you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with is directly at the back and you're going to use one of these pins to identify the center of the front of this body. So using this thread as the center, I'm going to pull this thread down all the way and insert this needle to identify the center of this body. There we go. Now, once you have done this, you're going to grab hold of one of the legs and go ahead and thread the darning needle with this bit of thread that's coming out of it and we're going to stitch this along the front like this around round five so there's my round one round two round three round four round five here's round five and this is where i'm going to stitch this now this pin is going to be used to as a guidance so i stitch this leg on this side and i'm going to stitch the other leg on this side so we make sure that the legs are positioned in the right place so holding this in place, I am going to start stitching the leg on. So we're making our way across these stitches one stitch at a time. So take the needle out from this one stitch and just secure the edge of this leg in. This is the reason why if the body is flat, it allows you to stitch all the way across the other side and uh, stitch the leg perfectly on. And once we've secured one side, we are going to hold the leg across or flat against the body uh, so that we can see the stitches. So we're going to catch one stitch at a time on the body. And then we're going to make this needle go through the stitches on the leg like this. Give it a little pull so it's nice and secure. So one stitch on the body and one stitch on the leg. And just like this, you're going to connect the two things together and make your way all the way across. And 
And once you reach the end, you're going to secure that end in by going through the same stitch a few times as we did at the beginning. So I'm going to go through that same stitch one more time. So the connection between the two is nice and strong. And once you've achieved that, you are going to turn this upside down, make the needle go through the same stitch that you've just finished with, turn the leg over and make the needle come out from the bottom of the leg. We're going to create a knot here by allowing the needle to go through one stitch or around one stitch like this. And we're going to create a loop with this yarn. Make the needle go through it and pull this down. There we go. And once you've done this, this will create a knot in place which will secure your thread in. We're going to insert our needle back into that same stitch here and guide your needle to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body. Pull this through and we can now go ahead and snip this off. And there we go, one leg is stitched on. Now this is what it looks like. Now you can use this pin as a guidance and stitch the other leg on as well. And once you've done that, we're going to stitch the arms on. And as this body was nice and flat, you will see that this part is quite narrow. And we are going to, let's do it on this side, we're going to position this arm across the top like this. So it covers the narrow part of the body. We're going to stitch this in the second round. So we're leaving one round on the top and we're going to stitch this in the second round here. And we're going to follow the same method as the leg to secure this in place. So go ahead, stitch the arms and the legs together and meet me back here. I've now finished attaching the arms and the legs onto the body. Now let's go ahead and connect this head onto the bear as well. And as you may notice, you've got the same amount of stitches at the base of this head and the top of this body. So when you're connecting the two things together, you should be able to connect one stitch at a time and make your way all the way across, just like we did with the muzzle. So go ahead and use the same method as the muzzle and attach the head and the body together and meet me back here. I've now finished attaching the head of this bear to the body and this is what it looks like. Now you can go ahead and accessorize this bear as you please. You can maybe add a little heart to it or a scarf or a little hat if you wish to. And there we have it, this is your complete bear. I hope you enjoyed making this bear with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.